Hello, my name is Mark Clements, and I've been asked to uh, do a video and to speak upon some of the issues that are affecting uh, the people in the city of Chicago. One of the biggest issues that I would say that is affecting uh, the people of the city of Chicago would have to be John Burge and his tortures. Not only John Burge, but multiple different uh, police officials working under the control and management of the city of Chicago being allowed literally to beat confessions out of criminal suspects. Uh, it's one thing for us to sit back and to look at the fact that yes some of these people did indeed commit crimes. However, they should not have been beaten by police to force confessions out of them. Many of them that are inside of our prisons right now today are totally innocent. In the city of Chicago on May 6th, we made history with a reparations package being passed by the entire city council that basically put a rubber stamp against tortures in the city of Chicago. The city of Chicago has now agreed to pay out $5.5 million in a reparation package along with psychological counseling, education inside of our schools, as well as to uh, build a torture memorial uh, justice center on the south side of Chicago. <clears throat> One thing that I am very displeased about the torture reparation package is that it didn't include men that had uh, passed away inside of prisons waiting to get a hearing on their claim of torture or to have their day in court. For them to not be able to receive something uh, is a black eye. Uh, Grelin Johnson uh, is one of those individuals that would not see one penny. Melvin Jones is another individual that helped put John Burge in prison. He testified. He will not be able to uh, receive one penny. He's deceased. And now his family is not able to gain as a result of this package, at least not money-wise. Uh, in the city of Chicago, uh, we have seen many men and women gunned down in questionable shootings. We need CPAC. We need legislation or ordinance to hold police officers accountable when they victimize people uh, uh, in the city of Chicago. We need also a separate re-entry program for these juveniles that were placed inside of our prisons and tried as adults and given uh, these long-term sentencing up until natural life. Uh, why do they need special treatment? If I keep you in prison for decades and I decide to let you go, think how much society has changed. We must change in our attitudes and in our hearts towards those that have been convicted of crimes. We realize no money, you can't survive out here. These kids getting out of prison, some of them are 40 and 50 years old. They can't get no job. What the world do you think is going to occur? That makes us the victims. Please wake up. Thank you. Once again, my name is Mark Clemens, and this is my statement on the issues in the city of Chicago. Thank you.